solo. What's up everybody, Derek here. And today we are in the garage because it is freezing outside for San Antonio, Texas. I've actually got a jacket on. Usually in San Antonio, I got short sleeves, but I just pulled this out of the backyard. It's been just sitting back there, haven't done anything with it except pick it up. It's still got dirt and grass on it from sitting back there. It's actually freezing, so this dirt is actually frozen right here. But we, I wanted to talk about this thing. This is probably one of the best motors or outboards that you can possibly get for any boat. Let's say John boat, you know, under 10 horsepower, 500 bucks, brand new. which is basically what this is. This is a 6.5 Predator. This is a 212cc engine that I got for, it was like 170 bucks at the time at Harbor Freight. I basically bought this engine and then bought a, oh, I think it's a stage one or stage two kit for a uh, go-kart because a lot of go-karts use this engine for racing applications. And for like 400 bucks, you can take a stage four and put this thing up to like 20 cc's but it's a super light engine as you can see I can basically pick it up just like that it's got the mounts for on the back for a transom mount but this engine is one of the best dependable engines that you can possibly get now it's got the external gas tank you can take them off you can it's got the regular gas uh, like lawnmower style carburetor, which you can get a Makuni, which is more of a jet ski type. If you know anything about that, it's got the actual, I believe that's called a gate valve with the actual needles that are inside of there. So it's got better throttle response. It can dump way more gas in one of these. But you can take this off, toss it to the side, but I leave it on here because this thing gets amazing. Uh, gas performance it's optimized so this it takes barely anything i'll fill up a little one gallon gas tank for an external just in case for like emergency in case i do run out but this thing sounds awesome i haven't started it right now we'll probably start it here in a minute but this is probably one of the best buys so 500 bucks 170 bucks for the engine and then this long tail kit as you can see comes with two props if you can see that back there, that prop and this long shaft. And the cool thing about these mud motors is that they run shallow. And for rivers, the kind of fishing that I do, you can. I have a John boat and it rips 15 miles an hour, top, top, top. It basically right at 14 and then ever, ever so often it'll hit that 15 and it'll just flash for a second on the, my GPS on my phone. And I also put this on my Pelican Bass Raider, which can handle it. So this one right here is a 6.5 horsepower. And the Stage 2 Go-Kart kit that I put on here, which is an exhaust, carb, and some uh, stiffer valve springs, basically pumps this thing up to 9 horsepower. So they, they dynoed it. Some Go-Kart companies that do it for their, their Go-Kart applications dynoed it at 9 horsepower with this exact kit. So this is a six and a half horsepower, now bumped up to basically around nine. I can keep going, there's a stage three and a stage four. A stage four is like 400 and something dollars now, which basically you gotta tear apart. The internals, new crankshaft, uh, I think you keep the rod, but you get a new piston. There's a bunch of stuff that goes into it to juice this thing up to like, I think they dynoed that one at like 20 something horsepower. But the options for fixing these are endless. If you blow an engine, you're running out of oil, anything like that, another 200 bucks, go get you another engine. Now with this $300 for the actual, you know, shaft and everything is different. So that will definitely, you could transfer it over from one to the other. It just basically bolts down and pops off, but it comes with this rod, but I actually got a handle, handle from a uh, bike and cut it off. And so I went under the one there 
and I got a aftermarket throttle kit from Amazon for it. And so I've done a little bit of customizing to it, but that won't have anything to do with it if this motor goes. So this thing, 500 bucks is definitely worth it. Uh, I can't tell you how many trips I've been on. I have not ran it though in about two months. I've been doing a lot of bank fishing. Just haven't needed it. I've got my John boat that has a jet ski engine in it. Got it out. So I, I just haven't used this thing. I need to get it back out on the water. But this is probably one of the best buys as far as an outboard. And it can handle deep water. Just because it can go in shallow stuff doesn't mean it can't go out in the deep stuff. But if you're wanting to run rivers like you never have before or run upstream current and go through shallow stuff, I use that with my Pelican Bass Raider. The John boat will do good, but you got to be careful because you don't want to scrape as much with it, for me at least. That Pelican Bass Raider is just like a kayak going through the shallow stuff. So it hits, that plastic just goes right over rocks. I've noticed with the John boat, when it hits rocks and other stuff, it's more like, like a brake pad in a rotor. It wants to, you know, stop more. So that Pelican Bass Raider is great for running the rivers and doing stuff, and it's perfect. Now... Taking a trolling motor with you is always a good option because you never know when an engine might go down and just might quit running on you. Uh, the car can go bad. Things can happen. The floats can get stuck. All kinds of things can happen. But I have literally not started this thing in probably two months and it's about 20 degrees outside. So we're going to try to start this thing to maybe show just a little bit of the dependability of it. Now. I've got the switch on right here and we got our choke, gas is on, I think it's got gas, it's got gas. So we'll see what happens. It is like 20 to 30 degrees outside right now so it may take a couple times. gas engines and lawnmower engines usually they're easy to get going again especially when you get them back in the spring I didn't put any stable in it I've been cranking and cranking on this thing and it just won't start Whew. I probably pulled it about 40 times I don't smell any gas so it's not flooded I think the carb probably needs to be gone through so Basically pulling that off, getting some carb cleaner that does not melt gaskets, and spraying that out. But these carbs are like 20 bucks, so you can buy another carb, spray it out, clean it up, pop it back on there, it'll probably start right back up. But, whew, I still love this engine. This thing is an amazing little thing for the amount of money that I paid for. Now you can go to Amazon and you can buy a brand new engine, like an outboard, for like, oh, not even this big, like four horsepower. I think it's called Hankai. I've been thinking about trying one just to try it. But they're like four horsepower. This is six and a half stock. It's round nine now, 500 bucks, compared to three to 400 on Amazon. And it won't run shallow like this one will. So. The advantages, the pros, the cons, you got to weigh them all out, but by far this is one of the best investments I've had for running the river, running the creeks, just going wherever I want, even putting in on lakes and going up into creeks. This thing will run literally anywhere and get me where I need to go. I even put her on my 15 foot heavy John boat and it took us where we needed to go before I even started working on the engine that was inside of it, the actual inboard, which was a jet ski engine. So this thing has definitely paid for itself and the amount of trips I've taken, the fun that I've had, 
and getting my kids out to little places to go fishing and just getting out away from people where we're secluded on rivers and creeks and we can go swimming and just have a good time. This thing was definitely worth it. But I just wanted to give you an update on what this thing is and how it is so vital in the way that I fish because I can get to places where not a lot of people fish and have a good time and get there quick. And since I got a family, I don't gotta be paddling the entire time. I can actually put this thing on, get to where I need to go, do some fishing, have some fun, and then get out. But I don't know, maybe you guys think differently, but that's kind of the way that I think on this one. Plus I like to work on my own stuff and having a gas engine that is out of a lawnmower makes it so easy to work on. Parts are just literally everywhere, but Anyways, guys, I hope this helps, and thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.